wasn't the best kept secret, but now the cat's officially out of the bag. Minnesota Congressman Dean Phillips is running for president. And he'll be doing it without much support from fellow Democrats who firmly stand behind President Biden's reelection. Fox 9's Rob Olson joins us now. Rob, a lot of questions today about what Phillips really expects to accomplish here. Yeah, a lot of that. You've seen a lot of that chatter online, too. The 54-year-old Phillips really does hope to make a point that it's time to find younger presidential candidates. Joe Biden's currently 80. Donald Trump is 77. But now this bid to challenge Biden, not necessarily popular among his fellow Democrats who believe the president is the best bet here to keep the White House. I'm Dean Phillips, and I'm running for president of the United States of America. Friday morning came the announcement that came is no surprise to anyone, especially since the Dean Phillips for president bus has been spotted on the road for days now, headed east. We have been following the sightings of your bus on social media. So have I. <laughs> Which is where Phillips filed with the New Hampshire Secretary of State and made his presidential candidacy official. He opened a new Twitter page, though it was briefly deactivated for violations that Twitter, now X, didn't explain. For months, Phillips has been saying over and over again his concerns that President Biden is too old for a second term, as he's been toying with running as a Democratic challenger. On his now active Twitter page, explains again, if President Biden is the Democratic nominee, we face an unacceptable risk of Trump being back in the White House. I know this campaign is a long shot, but that is why I think it is important and worth doing. And now begins the full court press to win over New Hampshire voters. Would you like to let them know what you wrote? I wrote, I love New Hampshire. I went to camp in the White Mountains. Uh, North Conway was my second home as a, as a kid. But the backlash has been very strong from fellow Democrats. Minnesota DFL Chair Ken Martin writing, a primary challenge only wastes the resources. We need to defeat Donald Trump and the MAGA extremists who are threatening our democracy. President Biden is sitting out the New Hampshire primary due to a dispute over primary scheduling. So Phillips really hopes to make a splash. Uh, I never would have imagined it, but I got to tell you, I learned to love my country right here in New Hampshire. Uh, you'll be hearing a lot of that sales pitch. Yeah. Uh, Phillips has plenty of money to start making a go of this. His estimated personal net worth around $50 million. So, I mean, there's some money there, but he's also begun official fundraising online on his uh, web page now. And, and uh, so there, he's really going to be making a go of it. Also, he has plenty of time to see where this goes because he doesn't have to file for re-election for his congressional seat until next summer. So he's got some time and money to play with. I and guess he makes just, a name for himself too yeah. by doing this, even if he, he doesn't move much th in terms of the president, being president. Certainly a lot of people have heard his name today that had never yeah. heard it before today. Um, whether it's, again, the publicity isn't all good because there's a lot of backlash, but then some people say there's no such thing as bad publicity. Mm -hmm. So name recognition is certainly going to go up. Uh, what people think in association with that name, depending on where they fall on the spectrum here, We'll see what happens. And this is just the beginning. I'm sure there will be no more names thrown into the ring. Potentially. Potentially. Yeah. We'll see. Um, certainly the primary season's coming up a lot faster than you expect. Yeah. All, All right. right. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Rob.